Okay, so after your chicken thighs are cooked, then I take them and just um, dice them up in little pieces about the size of a pea. And when you're doing, you know, a package of your thighs and you cook them all at once, you're gonna dice them all at once and then put them into little containers and freeze them and then work off of one at a time, taking about So this is um, a quarter of a cup. So about that, and then probably an eighth of a cup of the dry kibble. Get a spoon here. And then I just pour a little water in, warm water, and just stir it up like that. So you can microwave your chicken, if, since it's been in the refrigerator, um, about 11 seconds on my microwave but do not microwave the mixture with the kibble in it because it makes it smell really bad and they won't eat it. So warm your chicken, warm your water, and then just mix it up together. And then um, you can serve it to him just like this. And he'll probably eat all of that and um, double it for two kittens. And if he doesn't eat it all, then cut back next time. If they eat that, then um, you could add just a little bit more. And the bigger they get, you'll wanna feed them more. Um, another thing is they are social eaters. So when you get your kitten, he's been used to eating in a group. And if you put the food down for him and then walk away, he's liable to follow you and not eat. So in the beginning, I kind of recommend that you just sit down with him and pretend like you're eating. And just tap the bowl. Just act like you're eating along with him. And then he's more likely to finish his meal. Okay.